action doesn't stop for long here at Lucky Strike Manhattan. Friday night fight is in effect right now. First time we've had a card from this venue overlooking the Hudson River on Manhattan's west side. A beautiful place to be. Packed house here in what's normally a bowling alley, Gavin, but it's a great crowd tonight and uh, some enjoyable fights to begin the evening. They have done an excellent job of arranging this venue to fit our production and make it work. Um, everyone's having a great time. Uh, they, it, it's really intimate. I mean, it's good because it's it's uh, it's a big venue, but it feels really, 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 really intimate. But I'm, I'm liking this new venue. All right, the action set to get going. Send it back up to David Diamante. Got it. Friday Night Fights from Lucky Strike Manhattan, Ariel Agami with Gavin Van Black, and we get our first look now at a product of the Rami Elite Gym in Philadelphia, Gavin. We have a couple really excellent fighters. This one, by the name of Princeton, Princeton Williams, a middleweight, will be taking on David Zamnicki out of the Henzo Gracie Academy. And again, it's, uh, it looks like we're going to see a, a lot of uh, the Rami Elite versus Henzo tonight. We've got this with two fights so far. Um, Ra you know, Rami Ibram, amazing fighter, amazing coach. Same thing to be said with, with Joe out of Gracie's, another tried and true veteran. Let's send it up to, let's send it up to David Diamante. Courtney introduction is going to be Williams against Sam Nichols. Ladies and gentlemen, from Lucky Strike here in New York City, we are to go with our next bout of the evening. Three rounds of Muay Thai scheduled in the 155 weight division. Your referee for this is Kevin Mulhall. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he would with Colin Silver. He weighed in at an even 156 pounds. He represents Rami Ali from the fighting state. Delphi, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Princeton Williams. Williams. And his opponent across the ring, fucking out of the blue. He wears silver. Oh. He weighed in at 153 pounds. He represents Enzo Gracie from New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, the Zemnicki. Now we're underway. 
Vinicius comes out aggressive again. Both of them starting quick. Oh! Oh! Zamnicki took a spill and Williams tried to land a low kick while Zamnicki was on the mat. That's a no-no. The referee Kevin Mohol had to push Williams back. Williams apologetic. They're going to pull him a point for that, it looks like. That could prove costly. Remember, just three two-minute rounds here. A little damage is out. Now the clinch taking place. Zamnicki and Williams trying to land those circular knees. Attrition going on up against the ropes, Williams and Zanicki. This is just Both of them were really rigid in the, in the clinch too. And that's where it pays off. Nice take down there by Zanicki. Williams has to reset. We almost had a replay of what happened over there. Second time Zanicki's tried to go upstairs with the round kick. Adam, he's taking a spill. That needs to settle in a little bit, calm his nerves down. He's a little too excited. That, that can be problematic. His plant leg simply not planting in round number one, Gal. This is Vegas and Mickey Williams. And Mickey's scoring upstairs with lefts and rights. Now he teeps Williams away. These fighters. Good way he the body. Definitely done his clinch homework. So Nicky is finding where to take him off balance and where to put him down. But again, he takes a spill. Leaning too far back on that left side lead roundhouse. Comes to the close here in round number one. And Nicky and Williams, let's listen to the goings on in the respective corners. As a matter of fact, we'll stick right with you, folks. I'm Ariel Agami along with Gavin Van Black. This is Friday Night Fight for the first time coming to you from Lucky Strike Manhattan, a fantastic venue, a fantastic crowd on hand to witness the fisticuffs and plenty of kicks as well, Gavin. That was an interesting round. It looked like Zamnicki was doing good work, but he kept hitting the mat after throwing round kicks. So Nicky was doing really good work. I think Joe Sam Perry, his coach right now, is probably telling him, calm down, place your points better, Relax. There's a lot of tension when you start that first round, and you can tell there was like a little bit of animosity because of that one foul maneuver at the beginning. Um, and Zanicki got riled off it. We're going to see if they got him to calm down. We'll see what happens in this next round. This is a middleweight bout taking place. Zanicki coming in at 153 pounds, and, and Princeton Williams coming in at 156. So not much of an advantage either way there. Both men throwing kicks to begin round number two. Both men landing with the round kicks. Williams looking to lock Van Nicky up with that tie clinch. Now he lets him go. Good round kick with the right leg. And Van Nicky now the teeth pushes Williams up against the ropes. Williams is seeming to be all legs. Van Nicky's throwing more hands, setting up better combinations. Like a point deduction from Williams in round number one really could cost him big time. Three two minute rounds, and again a takedown by Zanicki. Zanicki has clearly stated that he owns the clinch. He's thrown Williams three times in that clinch. It's not a safe place for Williams to be, but he doesn't want to sit on the inside, outside either. Good low kicks from Zanicki. Williams trying to answer, but Zanicki getting the best of the exchange. Now he goes one two upstairs. Rami Ibram asking Williams to start throwing some more punches. Williams trying to capture the leg of Zan Nicky and shoves him to the mat. Williams visibly winded. Williams this is where the conditioning comes into key. Zanicki doesn't seem to be that tired. Quite honestly, cool as the other side of the pillow. And he's hitting, he's hitting Williams at will now. Nicky landing round kicks to the midsection of Williams. Final 30 seconds of round number two. John Nicky doing good work against Preston Williams, representing Henzo Grace's family in style. And it's the old saying, fatigue makes cowards of men right here. 
Williams in, Williams in trouble in the corner. Then Nikki landing blows and the round comes to an end. What a performance in round two by Davids and Nikki. Now again, Mike McKeon. Right now, Mike McKee and Josie and Perry should be getting getting Zinicky, get his, getting his heart rate down, getting him composed. So far, he's done really well. He, that last round was his, okay? He did good in the first round. He could, foreseeably, end this one with a TKO or a knockout if he plays his cards right. If not, he could still win on points, but even a broken clock is right twice a day. And any man not knocked out is still dangerous. Williams is still in this fight. So, right now, if they can get him to relax, get, it, get his heart rate down, and get him back into a working state of homeostasis, meaning that he can work fine, he's not tired, he can walk out with his fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third and final round. Non-stop action so far on Friday Night Fights. We've had two decisions thus far. We could be headed for a third. Let's see if Zanicki can score the stoppage or if Williams can rebound and get back into this fight with his two minutes remaining. A teeth right out of the game from Zanicki. But again, losing his balance on the round kick. Got it. A little too eager on it. Will, the judges, will that affect him in the judges' scorecards at all? No, that's a slip. That's a slip. Trying to grapple, trying to the tie clinch and to land knees, but he's going to move to the outside and he's going to dump Williams right from here. Oh, they split him. Williams is tired. We saw Williams kind of win it early in round two, and the same story in round three. Zan Nicky doing good work with the fists and the legs. Ooh, the legs come together on that. That sounded like going on bone, but both players. Charge on in round number three. And again, that's well. And that right hand. there is Tyler. You can see the wind leave Williams' body when he hit the mat. He is in survival mode at this point. Zanicki needs to chill out and pick his shots. He can hit anything he wants if he stays balanced. Academy looking for his first win of the evening. New York City is looking for their first win of the evening. Absolutely. <laughs> and another dump as Williams hits the map. And now Zinnick is playing a smart fight. He's going into the clinch. He's throwing him. He's mounting up the points. Do what works. Low kick there from Zan Mickey. Williams gets a right leg into the mid section. But Zan Mickey is undeterred. Oh, beautiful right hand as he's, Williams stacks against he's the rope. throwing that right hand like Nolan Ryan. Boom! The right hand and a knee inside from Zan Nicky. And again, Williams hits the net. And that's how this one comes to an end. An outstanding beautiful. performance from David Zan Nicky. Tremendous action here on Friday Night Fights. It'll be a few moments before we hear the decision. That's the third fight of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action here, luck strike. We go to the judge cards. All three judges scored about identically, 30 to 27. All the winner by unanimous decision, representing Heaven Oakland from New York City, David Zanicki.
So there you have it, a unanimous decision in favor of David Zamnicki out of the Henzo Gracie Academy. He defeats Princeton Williams, a 30 to 27 score on all three scorecards. He's had three decisions so far and three fights, but all have been excellent bouts on Friday Night Fights.